Hi everyone, my name is Tom, one of the developers of Cyber Launch Tycoon. Cyber Launch Tycoon is a sandbox management game where you get to build and customize your own gaming club. You can serve each one of your customers or get a staff and they can do that for you. Upgrade and maintain your existing services. Research and unlock new options and expand your club. For this devlog I wanted to show you what we did for the past few weeks. One of the things I wanted to focus on was the pause menu, fixing different issues and especially adding the settings to the pause menu during the game. So designing the UI, adding the video and audio settings, languages, later on I will also add the controls. The second thing was also the main menu, I wanted to clean up the scene behind the menu itself, I wanted to add the new settings I made for the main menu as well. And one of the big changes that I did was adding the research. Unfortunately, I don't have the footage of how I did that, <laughs> but here's the result. Uh, so far, I did the two researches, the maintenance one and the gaming club one. As you can see, when you finish researching the maintenance, uh, the maintenance guy appears and the guy can fix stuff. And then I worked on the maintenance character because uh, the one you saw previously was from the previous version of the game and uh, after we changed all the characters I had to change that as well. So basically this character used to be a firefighter, then I changed it to a regular guy and now I changed it back into a maintenance guy. It was uh, quite some fun, it looks much better. Also, one of the big ones that I did uh, for the past week and a half was uh, work on the exterior map, adding roads, buildings, fixing up the scene itself, adding a door, adding some windows. Changing the navigation that I used, both for the cars and the characters. I added traffic, I added pedestrians. It was something I spent almost two weeks of my work, but I think it's worth it. I really like how, how it came, came out. I'm trying to add as much customization as possible to the game so it's not so dull and weird, so it feels more alive. Yeah, that's basically what I worked on for the past few weeks. Most of the stuff weren't recorded because I didn't think it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, there were a lot of changes. I'm really happy with the progress we did so far on the game. I'm happy with where we're going with it. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got inspired by my work. I hope you will get uh, motivation to continue working on your game and I'll see you next time.